What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be going over what I bring to go turkey hunting in Texas. So Texas starts off cold in the mornings and then as it gets later on in the day, you know, it kind of gradually gets a little hotter. So what better way to start with than what clothes I'm wearing? So first things first, I got this Sika Apex hoodie. Um, it's lightweight, but it's got a little thickness to it. So whenever you're, you know, starting off the morning, it's kind of chilly, but as it gets a little hotter in the day, you know, I don't ever really wear a shirt under it, so you can zip it. It's like half zip. As you can see, this thing has a face mask on the back. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. I don't really use that a whole lot. Uh, it just kind of sticks to my face real tight, and I'm not a real big fan of it. Uh, I do use the hood. So the hood comes over kind of like this. It's pretty tight to your head. It's You can hear real fine out of it. It's not a big deal. So this is the face mask that I run. Uh, it's loose, mesh. You know, it has the bungee on the back to stick to the top of your head. Fits great. For my pants, this is the matching pants that go with this Apex hoodie. Uh, they normally come with knee pads, but they're kind of big, bulky, kind of get in the way. I took them out. Uh, you can leave them if you want, but I'm not a big fan of them. So probably your most important thing that you're going to want if you are turkey hunting in Texas is snake roots. So they're not the most comfy things. You can get comfier ones, uh, you know, Danner, Chippewas, yada, yada, yada. I think Twisted X has some, but these are just some regular old game guards or game winners, I'm sorry. Uh, they work. I guess I've never been bit by a snake in them, so so the best that I'm using is plain old Jane Macio vest. I don't have the Sika one. When I had these, Sika didn't have theirs yet, but this one's great. I mean, it does the job. It's got a pad on the back so you can sit down. It's got a pouch for your decoys and whatnot on here. It's got your slot for your box call. Works great. It's got your pot call holder. It's got your striker holder. Uh, just, you know, random little pockets. Got a water bottle. Everything that you need. So, the calls that I'm running normally is my pot call. I mean, it's basic slate. Uh, this one's made by Hayes. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Sounds great. Uh, I like it, you can get quiet on it, you can get soft, you know, you can get loud if you want to. If I'm sitting down under a tree, this is my go-to. This is what I'm using every time. Uh, I have diaphragm calls. I play with them every now and then, you know, if I'm by myself hunting instead of with somebody else, you know, I'll throw a diaphragm in. Uh, I also run this EHS Custom. It's my box. Nothing fancy. I only use this one, you know, if I'm trying to locate a turkey. If it's super windy, it's you know, this thing gets way loud. Another thing that is in my bag is gloves, uh, especially whenever you're filming with a camera or you're running a slate call. Uh, your hands are moving more than, you know, as you would sitting by yourself, no camera, but gloves. I don't even know what brand these are. They're, you know, probably some cheapos, but they're camouflage, they work, they're light, they don't get hot. Uh, you can tie up on them. All that great stuff. So decoys this is the flex tone i think it's the breeding hen looks freaking great i think it's like 30 bucks so it's not it's not expensive um it's hard but i mean it fits right in your pouch on your vest uh, i've shot turkeys over 2d decoys i've shot them over the little foam ones that you fold up i mean 
It all depends on the bird. Like this. this one, I think, is the most bang for your buck right here. I mean, it looks great. Tons of detail. It's perfect. The other one that I don't always run, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, is, is also flex on a flex tone strutter. Not big. I mean, it's... It does the job. The turkeys mostly look at as the fan. I put a real fan in mine from the previous turkey I shot. Well, I think that concludes our uh, Texas turkey hunting equipment video. Uh, if you are planning a Texas turkey hunt in the future, good luck to you. Our season starts here in about a week from now. So we will see you all here in a week. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.